The fact is that somehow the Chinese, uh, I could call it belief system, but let's call it religion, the Chinese way of giving meaning to the world, which is of course a very specific and very own thing. Of course there are many gods, but in fact, the world is not created by a, by, by a father figure, or mother, but the world is created spontaneously. The world is a spontaneous creation by some kind of uh, metaphysical and uh, transcendent principle we call the way, the Tao, which is the natural process and which we apprehend through the natural law uh, of yin and of yang, and of it's all the way how this natural law trans That's a very powerful idea. And that very powerful idea, I mean, it's unstoppable. It's, it's kind of, of course, when the West discovered it, they found already, uh, like Spinoza, they found that a great idea, or like Leibniz, they found that a great idea. And it still is a great idea. And because of the turmoil, we have talked about the sad story about uh, the opium genocide and so on. Uh, of course, many Chinese were, were forced to emigrate. They went around. And what happened? All during the 20th century, I think that's one of the major things history will retain from the 20th century, is the incredible expansion of China all over the world. You know, with lots of money and lots of... of, of, of of noise, McDonald has now 800, 1,000, 1,200 outlets in China, and Kentucky Fried Chicken about as much. But there are 35,000 Chinese restaurants in the United States alone. That's the Chinese expansion, you know. And that Chinese expansion didn't only bring uh, whatever you have it, you know, uh, Canton chicken or or. Uh, or chop suey, or whatever you have. They also bring a piece of culture. Uh, they, they, they expand. And things we, we didn't even know 100 years ago, like uh, yin and yang and tao and uh, the five elements and uh, tai chi chuan, you know, and qigong. It belongs to the world culture nowadays. So Chinese religion is not any longer everywhere in China. It's everywhere all over the world. I mean, with so much money, we print Bibles and, and smuggle them into China. I don't know what people do with it, but I mean, loads. But the other book, which is the book of the old master, Lao Tzu, that is absolutely, has been translated in every language and is in the hand of every young person in the world without any subsidy, without any, any, any church behind it, without any government pushing it or, or any, uh, anything of that kind, of any church. Uh, uh, it's a spontaneous growth, like the Chinese expansion is a spontaneous from, And that is something when people want to study China and want to turn to Chinese religion and to see how this expansion of China is carried by Chinese religion. And perhaps I should define Chinese religion because Chinese religion is a kind of composite thing that englobes the major ways of thought in China, including what we call Taoism and the cosmology of the Tao and the Yin and the Yang, but also Buddhism, of course, Chinese Buddhism, Zen Buddhism, as it developed in China, and also, of course, the Confucian system, uh, the Confucian teaching. These three together, and of course, the Chinese expansion carries all these three, the model of expansion, which is the from under up, that is like the Buddhist begging monk, you know, who has nothing. And he settles in a place and he starts his little temple and he begs and he builds and builds and builds and builds and his, his monastery becomes bigger and bigger. You know, that is like the Chinese in the United States. They come poor after two generations, three generations, their children go to the best schools. They, they build the best houses, they, they, they work, and they, 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 that is the, 
the expansion from under, not the expansion from above, you know, the, the big corporations who with lots of money send people to invest. No, it's, it's from, from under. That's the Buddhist side. Then there's the Taoist side of the Chinese expansion. That is that each of these units that come, they bring their incense burner, their ancestor tablets, their, 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 and they, with that they keep the link, the network to China. That's the, the, the Taoist side. And then there is, of course, the Chinese ethics. Be true to your father and mother, be true to your country, be true, be an honest person. 